When DRX T was first introduced back in 1983, Shimano got the formula right the first time round. It was simple, it was strong, it was dependable, and it was durable, which quickly gained its status as the workhorse of off road bicycle transmissions. Skip forward over three decades, and we have this the brand new Shimano DRX T M8100 transmission, which takes that workhorse backbone and brings it bang up to date with everything you could possibly need, every requirement and every style, including a 12 speed cassette. To make this video, Shimano sent me this box loaded with the latest Dior XT, so I can talk you through all of the technical features of this extremely versatile group set. Now we've already checked out XTR, which we know is the racing, the super premium transmission, and we already know that SLX offers a no-nonsense strategy with unquestionably great value for money. However, it's XT that sits in the middle and really does take the best of both of these group sets, offering you all-out durability. Now let's start with the chain set offerings available, of which there are two, and they're based around the same Holotech 2 constructed crank, which is the latest version of Shimano's forged and hollow design, which is the optimum way of making a crank as light as they can make it in a realistic fashion that delivers on both cost and durability. They're very stiff and very effective for power transfer. The crank arms themselves are available in 165, 170, 175 and a whopping 180 mm lengths. Let's take a look at the chainring offerings. Now there are two by and one by options available. The two by has a 26 and a 36 tooth setup on there and it's also convertible to accept a single chainring. So it's actually quite good value doing it that way round. With the one by setup, you can only run it on a one by fashion. The chainrings themselves are made from steel and they've got an alloy spider on them to just keep the weight down a little bit. When you wear out the chainring, you replace the whole thing, it goes straight on, it's a direct mount. And that also does mean that you can fit a lighter weight XTR version on there, should you fancy it at a later date. As far as chainring size goes, they range from 28 up to 36 teeth and they weigh for the 28, 608 grams up to 660 for that 36. On the 2x setup, there are two different Q Factor options available. There's 172 and 178 millimeters, which have 48.8 and 51.8 millimeters as a chain line, respectively. As far as 1x goes, there's three different options for Q Factors there's 172, 178, and a whopping 181 to suit that new Super Boost. Uh, they are 52, 55, and 56.5 millimeters for the chain line, respectively. Now it's time for the cassette. Now look at this bad boy. It shares the same technology that we've seen on the XTR, but it brings it to the XT level. It fits to the bike using the exact same micro spline system, which was specifically designed to suit the needs of the high torque 12 speed application. There's no cutting issues with this system. Now the cassette looks very similar to the XTR, although you might notice it's two-tone rather than three-tone. With the XTR, it had some titanium, some aluminium, and some steel involved. On the XT one, to keep the durability up, but to keep that price down, the top two sprockets are made from aluminium to make sure they're nice and light, and the rest, which you're more likely to spend more time in, are made from steel to keep it nice and dependable and durable. There are two sizings available. There's 1045 and there's 1051. 1045 uses the rhythm step gearing, so it's far closer jumps between the sprockets. Now, this is something that the racers were asking for, XC races, epic races, things like that, because they wanted to be able to maintain the sort of cadence between gear changes. The 1051, however, is a bit more of a wide range spread, as you'd imagine, going from the tiny 10 all the way up to that colossal 51. The 1045, is compatible with 1x and 2x setups, whereas the 1051 is exclusive for a 1x. Like the XTR 12 speaker set, the XT cassette uses Hyperglide Plus. Now, Hyperglide was a really clever invention from Shimano, and it essentially enabled half of the chain to derail without the rest of the chain totally derailing from the previous sprocket, 
when shifting up. What this meant was you could climb up whatever you wanted, you could keep that power down, you could cleanly change gear. Really, really good. And at the time when I developed it, it was absolutely fantastic. And the shifting was far smoother than other options available. Now HyperGuard Plus takes this and applies it in reverse. So as well as having a super clean shifting under power when you're changing gear up through the cassette, you can now have it when you're punching back down, which means when you're sprinting and you want to bang through those gears, you can do that. And the shifting will be punchy, accurate and smooth. And looking up close, you can see how this works. You can see how the chain can be pulled up onto these profile teeth here using these shifting ramps. And now you can get the same principle when banging back down through the gears again into a higher gear. Really cool piece of design from Shimano and it uses the same sort of spider profile as that XTR. Really, really cool. Now like the XTR, there's a dedicated 12 speed chain and it's got its own dedicated link. You can't use this with anything else in the Shimano range, it has to be for 12 speed exclusively. Now the XTR one is about eight grams lighter, it has the hollow pins, whereas the Shimano XT ones actually have solid pins on there. Now they've got the longer inside links on them. This is known as a dynamic chain engagement system. Essentially, it's to help the chain sit much better on the sprockets and on the chain ring. Essentially what they're trying to reduce is vibration because vibration equals noise, noise equals friction. These give the smoothest and most accurate shifting with the least amount of friction the Shimano's done to date. And finally, something to note is it's a directional design. So make sure you don't install these upside down. Or you won't be enjoying all the benefits. And for the hubs themselves, which are also available as wheel sets, but we have the hubs here to show you, there's a few things that you need to know. They've got center lock on them. They've got the micro spline system, of course, because they're exclusive now for 12 speed. That is the same for SLX, for XT and for XTR. They're available in 148 and 157 Superboost sizing. And on the inside, there's two particularly cool things. Now with the XTR, when they first launched, they had the silent system. They've slightly refined that now. Uh, it's not quite silent anymore. It's near enough, like it's as quiet as you're gonna get. The faster you go, the quieter it is. They've got an improved spring mechanism for re-engagement on there. It's now got 100 points of engagement with 7.2 degrees between those points. It's, it feels insane. And the final thing about these that really pleases me is they use classic cup and cone bearings. There's no cartridge bearings inside these, which means they're easy to service and they're gonna keep on rolling really smooth no matter how long you ride them for. Now the Duralia looks very similar to the XTR, which is no bad thing. Although I've got to say, I think this has this slight edge on it, looking a bit stealthier and a bit more business-like, which of course that's what XT is all about. It's the workhorse. There's 13 tooth pulleys, at both ends of the jockey cage there. And there's also a rubber bumper on the front there just to silence it on certain bike designs where that's called for. The clutch system is revised, it's lower friction. It still has the on and off dial on there. There are two options available for the different capacity derailleurs. There's one to suit the 1045 and there's another to suit the bigger 51. Now the front derailleur comes in side swing only. There's high and low offerings for mount position. There's direct mount and there's classic clamp on as well. Now the shifters themselves are really quite cool. And there's a few different options. There's the standard bar clamp model and there's the iSpec 2 model that I've got here. Now there's 14 millimeters of lateral like side to side movement available there. So you can really tailor the position on the bars depending on how inboard you like your brake levers to be. There's also 20 degrees of rotation available to you. So you can really tailor the actual feel on the bars. Again, I like to run mine quite far down. So this really suits me being able to customize that feel. Now, unlike the XTR ones, the paddle on here for your thumb is quite a lot bigger and it's got a bigger rubberized, a textured grip on there. So really good for all round use. No sort of accidentally slipping when you change gear, you just reach out and it's there. Now if you're shifting back down again, it's a multi-release that goes in either direction, which is really good because some people want to do it with a thumb, some people want to use it as a trigger with their finger. And you can also shift two gears at once. The second click is slightly firmer than that first click, which means it's great because you're not going to accidentally shift two gears at once. It's there if you want it, and if not, you can just trigger down one at a time. Nice system. Now, if you're running the two by system, you have the option of having the mono lever, which is, I think, really cool. Essentially, it's like a double tap, so you can shift both ways by the way that you trigger that lever. Uh, here, you can also use that to operate lockout for shocks. 
which is quite cool because they also do the dropper post remote so you can have quite a cool setup taking care of everything by just using a full Shimano setup. Now for the brakes, there's two options available to you. Unlike XTR where you have two different caliper options and two different lever options, there's a single lever option which is the more durable one, which really reflects the XT workhorse theory. Now the lever itself has the same inboard mounting system and it has that same support on there, which makes it feel really stiff on the bars. It also means you can get it into a really good position for one finger braking and aggressive riding without getting in the way of all your other controls like your dropper post, your shock lockouts, etc, etc. Now the lever blades themselves have the servo wave feature on them, which increases the amount of power they get the nearer the lever gets to the bar, which means when you're really squeezing on those brakes to slow down those times when you really need to, you're gonna get increased power. Now when it comes to the caliper, there's two options available. There's the lighter duty and lighter weight two piston option, or the much more powerful four piston option. It comes as standard with finned pads, but there's various other pads available. There's metal pads and there's resin pads that have a new quieter formula available on them as well. Bleeding with all Shimano brakes is a one-way process. And the calipers on both the two-pot and the four-pot design now have a faster piston retraction, which means they feel a lot more sensitive when you're braking. Less fatigue on your hands, more power at the business end. The rotors available are the freezer design, which is essentially a sandwich. It's steel braking surfaces sandwiching around an alloy fin design, which both keeps the weight down, keeps the braking power up, and of course it dissipates that heat a bit better. The only real difference between these and the XTR is the XTR have a special coating on those heat dissipating fins to further dissipate that heat. There's also standard six belt options available, but they lack those heat dissipating fins. Well, there we go. That is the brand new Shimano Dior XT M8100 transmission. Um, I think it's pretty impressive. I hope you guys think the same. Let us know what you think of this in the comments below. If you want to see what this stuff is like out on the trail against the SLX transmission, click down there for a video with Blake and Neil doing exactly that. And if you want to see the Geek Edition on that dreamy XTR transmission, click over there. And if you like Shimano and you like 12-speed, give us a thumbs up.